our dreams. We believe it. No matter how big your dream is, make small, tiny steps ahead. When I uh, graduated from universities, and before I, you know, for three years I tried to fill in the universities. So I applied jobs for 30 times, got rejected. I went for a police, they said, no, you're not good. I applied for Harvard for 10 times, rejected. Today, young people, a lot of young people lose hope, lose vision, and start to complain. Because I, we also have the same period. Because when I got, it's not a good feeling being rejected by so many people. We also depressed, but at least later we find the world has a lot of opportunity. How you see the world, how you catch the opportunity. We don't have a rich father, powerful uncle. We don't have a one dollar from bank. When sent from government, just work as a team. Because most of the people, they have a fancy ideas in the day. When they wake up in the morning, they go back to do the same job. We have to do something different. So from there, I started my business borrowing 2,000 US dollars from my relatives and friends. So 1999, I studied Alibaba in my apartment. People say, oh, Alibaba model is terrible. Does not make money, have this and that, all the big bad things because Amazon is better, eBay is better, Google is better. And there's no such model like Alibaba in the USA. So I told myself and people, we were better than people thought. And those people who are expert of riding horses, they all fall down and I'm still surviving. So many people I talked to at that time for Alipay, they say, this is the stupidest idea you have ever got. Now we have uh, 800 million people using this Alipay. My advice to the young people, any mistake is an income, is a wonderful revenue for you. So I told myself and told my young people, before 20 years old, be a good student. When you do entrepreneur, just learn some experience. Before 30 years old, follow somebody. Go to a small company. Normally in a big company, it is good to learn processing. You are a part of a big machine. But when you go to a small company, you learn the passion, you learn the dreams. You learn how to do a lot of things at one, one time. So before 30 years old, it's not which company you go, it's which boss you follow. It's very important. A good boss teaches you differently. From 30 to 40 years old, you have to think very clearly when you're working for yourself if you really want to be entrepreneur. When you're 40 to 50 years old, you have to do all the things that you are good at. Don't try to drop into the new area. It's too late. You may be successful, but the, the rate of dying is too big. So 40 to 50, think about it. how can you focus on things that you are good at. But when you are 50 to 60 years old, work for the young people because young people can do better than you. So rely on them, invest on them, making sure they're good. One of the secret sources for Alibaba's success is that we have a lot of women. 47% of our company are women. If you want to win in 21st century, empower others, making sure the other people are better than you are, then you will be successful. So I find the women, they think about the others more than they think about themselves. China today is the second largest economy in the world. China should pay attention to the quality of the economy. Just like a human growth, certain times the slow of growth of your body will slow, but you should grow your mind grow your culture, grow your value, grow your wisdom. I think China is moving to that direction. When you have one billion dollars, that's not your money. That's the trust society gives on you. Tai Chi is about uh, how you balance, how you work, like a competition. People say when I compete with eBay, say, you hate eBay. No, 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 I don't hate eBay. It's a great company. You know, they come, I go, you know, Taiji is like, you fight here, I go over there. 
You put it on the top, I go to down. Right? So it's a balance. Many years ago, I want to change the world. Now, I think if we want to change the world, we change ourselves. Change ourselves is more important and easier than change the world. And second is that I want to improve the world. Because to change the world may be Obama's job. <laughs> because my job is to making sure that my team are happy. Because my team are happy, they can make my customer happy. I remember one of the senior management of Walmart guys came to Hangzhou five years ago. I said, uh, maybe in 10 years we'll be bigger than Walmart. He said, young man, you have a good hope. If you want to have 10,000 new customers, you have to build a new warehouse and this, that. For me, two servers. 